Hey pastry puffs, welcome back to Strudel Reviews. It's your girl Strudel and today we are going to be reviewing a, a certain product that Strudel had bought impulsively because Strudel saw it on sale for a lot cheaper on... <coughs> ah, for fucking get it. It is Lila Yamamoto from Rainbow High Series 4. Yes, I bought her fucking impulsively. It's because Walmart.com had her online for $18 and she was available in my area for pickup. So you best be damned I was going to save that 11 fucking dollars. <coughs> also, I kind of have a mini rant real quick before I go into like Leela's review. Walmart.com also told me that Mina Flor which again is another one of the series four dolls I've been dying like, <coughs> like dying to have in my collection because oh my god, Mina is so fucking gorgeous. <coughs> and I want her bad. So Walmart.com tells me my local Walmart has her in stock. And I'm like, and same price as Leela. So I go, Yee! clearance sale and then like throw her throw Mina and Leela in my cart order them and then like five minutes later I get a message from walmart.com saying you've got one item unavailable and I'm like unavailable what's not available and then I push the link and it goes Mina Fleur is the one not available and I'm like are you serious <coughs> <coughs> so me being bummed kind of just like switched her to shipping and then just canceled on her because I was so looking forward to bringing her home the same day but it didn't happen it didn't happen <laughs> excuse me while I cry over that that like really crushed whatever remnants of my non-existent soul I had left. It crushed it to fairy dust. So, um, I go pick it up, go pick up Leela. Well, Martin plays like, yeah, uh, sorry we didn't have the other item. And I'm like, nah, me, that's not on y'all. Because if y'all don't have it, y'all don't have it. But I would have liked to see if I could have gotten something else of the same price. I could have gotten something else for, like, a similar price. Instead of just having the item switch to shipping. But that's not on the store. That's on fucking Walmart.com. <coughs> Walmart.com. Do not tell your fucking customers that an item that they're looking to buy is available for store pickup in their area when it's really not. Y'all need to do your fucking shit better. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into Leela. Sorry, that was a bit of a rant. Walmart.com really pissed me off. You can see that Leela Yamamoto has... That Leela has, like, the half a brow, where it's, like, the front part of her brow, and then the rest of the brows are shaved off. But it's such a cute look. Like, girly. And you can tell she's got, like... This gorgeous multi shade of purple eyeshadow with like a little bit of glitter over the eyes. And she's got these gorgeous icy blue eyes. Although not as blue as Robin's. But they're still like... <laughs> Excuse me. But they're still gorgeously blue. <coughs> and you can tell Leela has a molded on purple bandage. Which is a lighter purple. And she's got a darker purple heart. You can tell some of the paint's gone off the nose a little bit. Which, of course, <sighs> Series 4 is going to have some kind of fucking defects. No matter what the batch, there is always going to be some kind of defect with Rainbow High Dolls. And you can tell she's got, like, these adorable little stickers on her face. One of looks like what looks like a flower, but it won't focus exactly. 
It looks like a Wisteria flower. And then she's got like a little moon and two little stars on her face. And it's... Oh, no, that's a cloud. No, that's a moon. Oh, it's a moon on one side and cloud on the other. But the stars in the Wisteria flower are the same. And you can tell she's got this gorgeous little like... I'm not sure what to call this specific top, but it looks like the top part of a kimono. <coughs> and it's like this really interesting satiny material. And you can tell like the base color is a super light purple. <coughs> Sorry, when I sneeze, it's never just one sneeze. <coughs> God fucking damn it. Fuck you, allergies. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm so fucking sorry. First it's coughing fits, and now it's fucking sneezing fits. Fucking fuck me, Jerry. So anyway, you can tell, like, the garment is kind of, like, a very, very, very light purple. And at first glance, you can mistake it for white. And then you can tell the accents... Uh, the accent purples are a lavender color, which is super gorgeous. And she's got this little, like, RH belt thingy majigger on her little um, top part of the garment. I highly apologize that I don't know what it's called because <coughs> as much as I would love to learn everything that I can about Asian cultures in particular... I have, like, next to zero knowledge about, like, the garments and the textiles and everything that they use. So, sorry about that, guys. And then she's also got these, like, silver little buckles, like, all over the front. And you can tell it Velcro's in the back. And I'm pretty sure that this right here is a separate piece. And then you can see she's got like a fake zipper with a fake zipper pole right here and a bunch of little rhinestones and a dark purple pleather skirt with a, I'm pretty sure this is called a kanji, but the kanji is like a lavender color. And then you look at the little key, like the little charm hanging off her shirt and you can tell it looks like a couple of wisteria flowers. That goes from an ombre darker pink down to like a lighter pink. And it's like super cute. And then she's just got plain white socks. And then she's got these interesting little Crocs that are black with silver spikes. And then if you look at the heel of the Croc, it's embedded with money symbols. And on the bottom, they look like a Croc, but a platform Croc. So that's fun. And then you can see on the one foot, she's got a few pins. One that has a rainbow background with white kanji on it. A wisteria flower. And then I can't tell what that is, but I think it's another kanji with a purple background. Oh no, it says RH with like a purplish pink background. And then on this side, she's got a... Pink and white kanji, I think, which is super cute. A yellow and pink button, and then a pink heart with purple wings. And then she's got these black pleather gloves with the lavender, with the lavender ribbon and the silver buckles on both sides. And then she's got these really gorgeous little wisteria earrings that have like. A little chain that says R with like a little white nubby thing. And then the same thing on the other side, but the difference is it's an H with the little white nubby thing. And you can tell like her hair, you can tell is like a darker purple with like some, I'm going to say orangish colored, some like orangish colored streaks. And that her hair is up into two, like, really interestingly braided buns. And then she's got, like, fringe bangs in the front. <coughs> I forgot to mention, she's got a red lip. 
which I now just noticed she has a lip defect. And it's very similar to my Cheer Jade's lip defect, but not as bad. And I didn't notice that till just now. And I'm like, do I file a claim with MGA? Even though the last time I tried that, they uh, told me, sorry, we don't have a, we don't have any of those. You have to take it back to the store. Which, another grape for another time. But for Leela, the articulation is the same as articulation in the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, thigh, and knee. And I forgot to mention that Leela has like a darkish purple colored stand and in the stand she comes with the same swappable feet that the Pacific Coast girlies do that are the flat feet because she has a second pair of shoes that's like a gaita sandal. I have no idea where Minnie Strudel took the shoe box to and I couldn't find it so if I uh, if I find it I'll update y'all and show you what it looks like but they're a pair of like black gaita sandals and they got like purple kanji on them and then they've got like purple ribbon that you tie around the ankles <coughs> and then I want to sit and then I do have her second outfit that I can show you here it is still in the packaging like you can tell that is a lighter purple very similar to like the lavenderish color and then and then you can tell, like, it's got wisterias all over it. It's got some, like, little silver, like, stems and petals. And it looks like there's a purple little butterfly. Like, a purple little butterfly on the shirt. And if it wants to focus, you'll be able to actually see the wisteria embroidery on the, on the top. See? So fucking gorgeously breathtaking. And then you see, like, her little skirt has a bow. There's a big purple, like, a big darker purple ribbon that's into a bow. And then it's got a skirt that is very similar to, like, Karma's first outfit. Who, she is no longer with us. Oops. <laughs> Karma is no longer with me, and I regret it every day. So hopefully I'll be able to get an opportunity to get a new one. But um, real quick, about, about Leela's second outfit, it is from what I could gather, like with the everything going on on Instagram, when the series four dolls, like stock photos had started spreading around the internet like wildfire. Somebody, like an Asian user had seen the second outfit, it was like, okay, so Leela was, you saw by Leela, Leela's last name Yamamoto, that she's Japanese. And so because she's like Japanese, you would expect that to be like Japanese attire, but the Asian community s saw that it was Chinese and started telling the Rainbow High design team to do better. <coughs> But you know what they did instead? They decided to change, like, they decided to, when they announced to leave, when the bios were up, for Leela's, it decided, they decided to say she's half Chinese, half Japanese, which a lot of people say that's a, because, like, for whatever reason, they say specifically her dad's, her dad's Japanese and her mom's Chinese, and a lot of people were like, I smell a skunk because that is a poor excuse to not like to cover your butts and to do your research better. And I will say Rainbow High let themselves get into this situation again with the with the Maria Garcia doll who is the Dia de... The Dia de Muertos doll. Meaning, like, the Day of the Dead, for those who don't know about that holiday. I'm sorry, that's Minnie Strudel. You're gonna have to bear with him for a second. 
But, um, Maria Garcia was supposed to be a Dia de Muertos doll, but they had established, but they put her in, like, a flamenco dress, and if you guys want to see, like, a stock photo of the doll, I'll be right with you. Shush. Um, so anyway, if you want to see, like, a stock photo of the doll, I'll put it on my Instagram story at strudel underscore collects, and if you're, like, Hispanic and you managed to see the story, can y'all DM me and tell me, like, what is wrong with the doll exactly so I can know for myself? Because I feel it's pretty distasteful for what they did. And with that, I think I'm going to leave this off here. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Mini Strudel.